Away from Pakistan, there's a new turn to the political turmoil in Malaysia as Muyuddin Yassin has been appointed as the country's new interim prime minister. Malaysia's King Sultan Abdullah Sultan Ahmed Shah today appointed 72-year-old Yassin as the prime minister following days of political vacuum after Mathir Muhammad's resignation from the post. The official statement from the king's palace said that, in the king's opinion, Muyuddin Yassin had the support of the majority of the MPs, a member of parliament. Yassin, a former interior minister, is the head of the Berasatu party, which is also the party of Mahathir Mohammed. But there is an interesting catch to Yassin's coming to power. He will take over as prime minister with the backing of United Malays National Organization, the UMNO. Ironically, the UMNO is the same party which was ousted by the Mahathir Anwar Ibrahim partnership in the 2018 elections. What this means is that Yassin has found a new coalition partner for the Bersatu party and will be forming the government by practically splitting the party. Yassin's appointment is a setback for Mathir and his attempts to hold on to office even after resigning last week. In what can be called a last ditch effort, Mathir earlier today said that he had the backing of former coalition partner Anwar Ibrahim to make a return. The king's intervention seems to have triumphed Mathir's shrewd plans to remain in power. A seemingly frustrated king in an officially issued statement said that the process of appointing a prime minister could not be delayed and the decision to appoint Yassin was the best for all. Muyuddin Yassin will take over the oath of office on Sunday and soon face a vote of confidence in the parliament. And with that, it's a wrap here from my side. Thank you so much for watching. This is Krishna Kumar signing off. Good night.